Hey friends, good morning to all of you. Today's is our part which is drawer casing. So now made it. So let's go in it and it looks like this. So go with it, sketch, choose front plan. And uh, after we, if you seen my that previous casing one video, so it is too much easy for this in this video. This video is same like that, but we have some change dimensions and some quantities so that's why we have to make this okay so now give a dimension to this rectangle yes okay base plane choose it and make it base perfect now we go with edges and make that edges choose the all four sides one by one yes up to this limit we have to create it i think yeah okay so we give after the dimensions okay yes select this all sides Select all side first. Okay, now give dimension to all, which is 515. Yes, now okay it and create a one flange also. Okay, so we have created it now. Move forwards. Yes, create it. up to 400 yeah there is some gap so how to solve this 450.9 yes see it's good this small gaps are natural in city metals which is covered by welded at corners so right now we are going to make drawer places so for that we have chosen that surface and going to make rectangle here which is the si which is in the size of drawer okay yes so apply here the dimensions yes fix it I think my mouse not working. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Click it. Yeah. Now we go on against one dimensions and apply dimension and fix it. Yeah, from upper surface it it will be yeah twenty and okay. So again, which width is one thirty? Yeah, right. Now length. Three, ten. Yes. Okay, so to make this, we don't create another rectangle. We are going on linear pattern, and one entity is in x axis, and going to make three entities in y axis. So choose that and give it dimensions in, and it is in another direction. Yes. Okay, one forty two. I think right okay 143 it will be best yes okay so after saying that all equal distance we have to create okay it yes now we want to cut it so go on extrude cut and cut it yes up to next yes. now yes give it make it that flanges here also Yes, choose upper and bottom side, which are same. Yes, again that one, that one, also under it. Okay. Yes. Give it dimensions up to 15 mm. Now, okay it. 
okay so now we want to make edge flanges on that side surface so for that going on edge flanges and yes choose the all side surfaces left and right side yes Yes, this one. Okay, so after choose it, okay, that's something wrong with it. It's not uh, make it wrong, but there is some an error which is intersecting. So we have to make like this one so it will not intersect. So let's try with this firstly corners. Okay. So you can also find your mistakes and make it perfect here. Yes. So for that, choose different type of corners here. So it will, yeah, see the difference. Yeah, apply on it. Yeah, see the difference. But it is still intersect with the bottom surface. So for that, what we are going to do, relief. Yes, choose that relief type. Here. Yeah, but still it is not working. So what we are going to do? Yes, but uh, still. Error is, I think, not gone. Let's see. Okay, still it is not... Uh, okay, so... Some minor intersecting between them. So for that, we are going again on it and edit feature. Okay, so use default radius to click and apply 2 mm. Yeah, okay. Now, change its angle also. So it will going downward or inner side. So yes, now you can see that's whole it is going in inverse side and which is the also useful to us in designing as ergonomics view okay yes so we have created it and it's not without any angle yes okay so we have done this now we want to create it supportive edges so for that you know you are aware about it that we have made in first casing one yes so you can go with it and make it okay so now choose this surface by section view and after that look when we have to create this surface is here upper side of that we have to create a one line for making its edges for sliding yes which is useful in drawers so in drawers and our this casing there has some sliding pair okay so for that i have to create this line and after i apply some surface on it and make it sliding there yes here is simple sliding not too much highly roller like okay it is simple sliding which is you can see in your home automatically now i have made here line and I want to go upward so it will not extend I think so for that I want I should delete it it will not go outside okay so delete it yes that's the only way we have okay again choose line and create one another line from this surface yes okay so after make this one we have to give one dimensions to between them so I applied 3 mm okay so after make it we don't create these lines again and again because we have three drawers so for that I applied here linear sketch pattern 
which is too much useful now I don't need any x quantities so for that I'm going to make it 1 okay yes and after I need y so so to, uh, okay flip the direction of it yes you know the difference this distance because we have made this casing okay yes apply here this is okay I think yeah yes after create this one we have go with the surface yes so go and and extrude that surface okay it takes time select three entities yes now extrude up to how much yeah okay rotate it and see the view of it yes so I think it is okay um, it will okay or not yes I think we have to add something yeah it nice okay so after making this one we have to this is surface we know that so for that we have applied some thickness to this so for that we are going on thicken command and we have to apply thicken command on these three surfaces so select from thicken this one first and apply here dimension switches yes this look perfect the one room i think good yes see this perfect here and same things we have to apply it on this two entities also yes select it and make it this one also select it and make it okay choose first yes it's okay now same things we have to apply it on another side okay so for that again we are going to use this mirror so for that we need some plan in between so for that we have choose left and right surface and make it plan between them which is in exact center yes so after make it we have to choose that thicken surfaces so for that okay some error is coming here okay clear fill it yes click on full preview so it will give the idea about it okay so there is some mistakes here yes choose feature still it is not making here so for that body of mirror and I think we have to off merge solids let's see it clear sections yes choose this one to merge solids off yes now after cancel that merge solids it is coming here yes so we have made both the sides this supporting or sliding surfaces or thicken surfaces so after i hide that plan because right now i don't need that so okay it is okay here so make measure the distance between them so let's measure it so okay uh distance is nearly 2 mm in y axis so it is the right thing which is our measured distance we need so okay after this make it we have to uh apply some material on this so firstly check it is there anything is remaining or not so go on material and edit material here i use aisc 304 
its properties also good but if you need to change that so you can go with it and you can change to measure its difference difference properties okay okay so here is at the gap some my friends have question that's what will happen with the gap so for that i have given the answer here after uh, in the gap after we can make uh, some corners or welding so here i give welding corner so that is also good things in this sheet metal which you learn more okay so after save it yes apply here now do drawer casing this all upper four part we have already make in assembly so you can go with that playlist hey friends if you like this video and its content so please like the button and you want to more updates on this channel so please subscribe my channel and uh click on this bell icon so for that you will get notified for more updates so thank you friends and if you need any improvements so please comment on me thank you for your wonderful support